木の崎温泉ガイド18 recommended street foods サムライ・ジュンジロー・チャンネル Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. This video is about Kinosaki Onsen. We'll share detailed information, including how to go hot spring hopping using the Onsen Pass and bathing etiquette. We'll also introduce 18 popular foods you can enjoy in the area, so stay tuned. Now, let's get started. We have arrived at Kinosaki Onsen Station. This time, we'll introduce these four sections. First, let us explain how to get to Kinosaki Onsen. There's a direct train from Osaka Station to Kinosaki Onsen. Please note that this is different from Shin Osaka Station, where the Shinkansen stops. It takes about 4 minutes to get from Shin Osaka Station to Osaka Station by train. You can purchase tickets at ticket machines in the station. All seats are reserved. This is a JR Express train, so you can also use a JR Pass. When you head to Kinosaki Onsen Station, you'll go to platform 3 and 4 of JR Takarazuka Line at Osaka Station. The platform is long, so wait for the train at the same car number location that is written on your ticket and on the platform. Alright, let's ride a train and head to our destination. There's a restroom and a washroom in the train. This train is a bit old, so there are no power outlets or USB ports. It takes about 2 hours and 45 minutes from Osaka Station to Kinosaki Onsen Station. There's also an express train from Kyoto Station where the Shinkansen stops, which takes about 2 hours and 20 minutes. When you head to Kinosaki Onsen from Tokyo, using both train and Shinkansen will take over 4 hours and 30 minutes. It's a long distance, so taking an airplane is also recommended. You can transfer from Haneda Airport to Osaka Itami Airport and head to Konotori Tajima Airport. A bus is available from there and it takes about 40 minutes to get to Kinosaki Onsen Station. By the way, at Kinosaki Onsen Station, express trains stop only about once an hour. So, it's a good idea to buy your return train ticket in advance to avoid wasting time. The check in time of most hotels and ryokan here is 3 pm. If you have luggage, it's better to use coin lockers at the station. Now, let's head to the main area. It's about a 4 minute walk from the station to get there. We'll introduce some shops on this street later. This is the main area of Kinosaki Onsen we are introducing this time. Kinosaki Onsen is a popular hot spring town in Japan with a history of 1300 years. The old town streets are preserved, so you can also experience an atmosphere similar to Kyoto. There are hot springs gushing all around the town. There are also hot springs that you can drink. You'll find many foot baths for free, so you should try them. For your information, Towels are not provided, so you need to bring your own. There's also a ropeway that you can enjoy a panoramic view of the town. The river that flows through the center of this area is called the Otanikawa River. The atmosphere of the willow trees and old buildings is amazing, and there are many spots that make you want to take photos. It's also recommended to get changed into a yukata and take a walk around the town after checking in at your hotel. In Kinosaki Onsen, there are seven famous hot springs where even those with tattoos can take baths, so there are many international tourists as well. At night, the atmosphere becomes even more wonderful. After finishing your dinner, it's recommended to take a walk. We'll share tips about the Onsen Pass you get at the hotel and recommend some hot springs later. Now, let's start our food tour. Let's start with this shop. Motosue. It's a specialty shop for egg sweets that opened in October 2020. The most popular menu item is the tamago pan, egg bread. They bake it four times a day, but it sells out quickly, so it's recommended to time your visit for when it's freshly baked. Let's eat it while it's still warm. 
it's soft compared to a typical cake because it's steamed at a low temperature. When you take a bite, you taste the natural sweetness of eggs and milk. It's fluffy and melts in your mouth. The size looks large, but the texture is light, making it easy to eat. This popular dessert sells more than 12,000 pieces a month, so be sure to give it a try. Next up is this shop, Kinosaki Sweets. It's a specialty sweet shop that sells treats like pumpkin and ice cream. This time, we'll have gelato. There are 10 flavors, and we chose a mango one. It has a refreshing and pleasant aroma of mango. It has a rich taste because it uses plenty of mango juice. It's cool and delicious, so you can enjoy it as an even more refreshing treat after warming up in the hot spring. Matcha and salted caramel flavors are also recommended. Next up, we'll introduce this shop, Gyusho Ueda. It's a specialty shop for Tajima beef, which is produced in Hyogo Prefecture. Tajima beef is famous as the highest grade among Wagyu, and it's the precursor to Kobe beef and Matsuzaka beef. We'll introduce two types of food made with Tajima beef that are easy to enjoy. First, let's start with the Menchi Katsu. The ground meat used inside is 100% Tajima beef, but the price is affordable. The coating is thin, so it's not greasy, and it has a more refreshing taste than it looks. Once you take a bite, the juices from the meat overflow. The ground meat is coarse, which gives it a good texture. It's simple but delicious. The next item is a Tajima beef steak skewer. It's grilled after you order, so it takes about 5 minutes, but you can enjoy it freshly cooked. It's seasoned with sweet garlic sauce. The meat is juicy and it has a rich flavor. It's tender and moist. It's nice that you can easily enjoy premium Tajima beef. The next place is Short Novels in Cafe An. It's a popular cafe where you can enjoy drinks like coffee and read books. This time, we'll introduce a dorayaki that you can also take out. We chose the most classic one from the six varieties. It's made with a dough flavored with honey and miso, sandwiching cream and sweet red bean paste. The cream with butter and salt has a smooth texture. It's not too sweet, giving it a natural sweetness. It's bite-sized and easy to eat. The next shop we are introducing is Kachoan. It's a shop that sells souvenirs made with local ingredients. This time, we'll have the especially popular Chinese bun. Inside, there's Tajima beef. The dough is soft and has a chewy texture. The Tajima beef filling is seasoned with a rich flavor like sukiyaki. It has just the right amount of fat and melts in your mouth. The sweetness of the onions enhances the flavor and it's even more delicious. The next place is Kinosaki Tokiwa Garden. It's popular as a cafe at lunch, but for dinner, you can enjoy barbecue dishes. This time, we are introducing a coffee milk available for only takeout. It combines freshly roasted espresso and kiraya milk from Kyoto. The espresso with aroma like hazelnut and the rich taste of milk go well together. It's bitter, but if you like coffee, you might enjoy it. By the way, if you return the bottle to the shop, you get 50 yen back. The next is this shop, Hokuan. It's a specialty shop with fish cake, the main store located in Nishiki Market of Kyoto. There are seven types of menu item, but we'll try the most popular one. There's crab leg meat inside the fried fish cake. The fish cake has a plump texture with a subtle saltiness, and the crab meat inside is sweet. The aroma of crab spreads in your mouth. It's a luxurious fish cake. Next, we'll introduce Maruyama Karyo. It's a popular shop that sells individually wrapped Japanese sweets. 
will have the pudding that almost everyone orders at this shop. It's made with fresh milk and cream that arrives early in the morning. The sweetness of the milk and the aroma of vanilla beans are wonderful. The caramel has sweetness, but you can also taste the subtle bitterness. It's not too sweet, and it's delicious with a smooth texture. The next is Kinosaki Omiyage Hyaksen. It's a large souvenir shop located just a one minute walk from Kinosaki Onsen Station. At the shop, they sell takeout food. We'll introduce two recommended items from among them. First, we'll have the cream croquette of snow crab. It uses Matsuba crabs, a type of snow crab caught in the sea near Kinosaki Onsen. The filling has a sweet taste of milk and butter, and it melts in your mouth. There's plenty of crab meat inside, and the plump texture is nice. It's a luxurious cream croquette. Next, we'll have a croquette made with Tajima beef. It uses premium wagyu, and it's nice that it's at an affordable price. It has a rich flavor with the texture of the meat. The potatoes are sweet and smooth. It's a taste that makes you want to have a beer. The next shop is Kinosaki Gelato Cafe Chaya. It's run by the same company as the gelato shop we introduced earlier. You can make onsen tamago, which is egg cooked in a hot spring, by yourself here. The egg is available in sets of three or five. Let's try it. You put eggs in the hot spring and tie the string of a bag. After about 11 minutes, you take it out. You can use a dedicated egg cutter to crack the shell. The perfectly soft boiled onsen tamago is ready. The melt in your mouth texture is nice. The pleasant aroma of the hot spring transferred to the eggs, making them even more delicious. If you don't like soft boiled eggs, you can leave them for about 20 minutes to make hot boiled egg. Enjoy this special experience that you can only have at a hot spring town. The next shop is Furuya Busanten. It's a souvenir shop where you can buy handmade Japanese hand towels, ceramic products, and more. The popular item is a Kinosaki tempura, which is deep fried with fish paste. There are six varieties, but this type will introduce one that's a bit unique among them. It's deep fried with fish paste, along with the ingredient commonly used in okonomiyaki. It has the aroma of pickled ginger. It also contains cabbage, giving it a great texture. You can even taste the sauce flavor, making it just like okonomiyaki. The next place is Kinosaki Ashiyu Cafe. It's a specialty shop for canale and sweet potato dessert. Inside the shop, there's a food bath, and if you order one item per person, you can use it for free. There are various sweets available, but we chose this soft serve ice cream. It's a luxurious one topped with canale and sweet potato. It comes in a wooden container and looks cute. The outside of the cannula is crispy, and the inside is moist. It has a pleasant aroma of rum. The steamed sweet potato is sweet and delicious. The perfect combination with the milk-flavored soft-serve ice cream. The sweet potato chips are crispy. It has a mild sweetness. Underneath the soft-serve, there are cornflakes, which gives it a nice accent. This dessert is not too sweet, with a refreshing flavor. Next, we'll introduce this shop, Kinosaki Burger. It's a popular shop where you can enjoy hamburgers made with Tajima beef. You can dine in the restaurant or takeout. They make it after you order, so you can enjoy it freshly made. This time, we chose the Tajima beef cheeseburger, the most popular one at this shop. The patty is 100% Tajima beef. It's a satisfying burger with lettuce and tomato. The sauce made by combining mayonnaise and mustard is creamy and delicious. Tajima beef is coarse ground, so it has a great meaty texture and the juices overflow. 
The melted cheddar cheese is incredibly delicious. For your information, this shop closes at 4 p.m., so it's better to go early. The next shop is Igaya. It's a shop where you can buy Japanese style souvenirs like chopsticks and fans. We'll introduce two items here. The first one is Kinosaki Cider. It's a soda inspired by the carbonated hot springs of Kinosaki Onsen. It's sweet, but the carbonation gives it a refreshing aftertaste. If you have a drink after taking a bath in hot spring, it should make you feel even more refreshed. Next up is potato chips. It's seasoned with flavor powder of Tajima beef. The surface of the chips has an uneven texture, so you can enjoy a crisper texture compared to regular potato chips. It has strong seasoning, so it's addictive and you can't stop eating. It also goes well with beer. Lastly, we'll introduce the bento you can buy at Suzoro, Kinosaki Onsen Information Center. It's a crab bento of the neighboring shop, Yamayoshi, but their building is currently renovating, so you can buy it here. We bought this one that includes both crab chirashi and sushi. It uses Matsuba crabs caught in the sea near Kinosaki Onsen. The chirashi has a nice aroma of crab. The eggs are fluffy, and you can taste the umami of shiitake mushrooms. The crab sushi has large piece of crab meat and it has a sweet taste. It's fresh, so it doesn't have a fishy smell. It's amazing that you can enjoy the crab of this quality in a bento. Now, let's introduce a place we stayed at this time. It's called Ryokan Kinsui. There are many high-priced ryokan in Kinosaki Onsen, but this one is more affordable because it doesn't include dinner and breakfast. This is a recommended place for people who want to dine at outside restaurants or like us for those who want to try various foods. The rooms come with a restroom and a wash basin. You need to lay out the futon yourself, but it could be a good opportunity to experience Japanese culture. Yukatas are available, so you can wear one and walk through the hot spring town. By the way, this ryokan doesn't have baths. However, the best part of Kinosaki Onsen is visiting the seven hot springs, so it's no problem. Most accommodations at Kinosaki Onsen offer an onsen pass. If you have it, you can take the seven hot springs as many times as you like, from check-in until 3.30 p.m. the next day. There are seven hot springs, but for those who are not sure where to go, we'll introduce the top three especially recommended onsen. The third place is Ichinoyu. There's a spacious hot spring inside an outdoor cave. The second place is Satonoyu. It's the newest of the seven hot springs, and the open-air bath is popular. And the first place is Goshonoyu. You can enjoy the open-air bath while watching a waterfall. It's spacious and very relaxing. By the way, the opening days and hours of the seven hot springs vary depending on the location, so it's better to check in advance before you go. There's a link to an official website where you can also check the crowd situations in the description box. Finally, let us briefly explain the rules for using the hot springs. Before entering the bath, rinse your body with hot water to wash away any dirt. Please take your small towel to the bathing area to wipe down your body lightly before returning to the changing room. Don't dip your hair or towel in the bath. If you have long hair, please tie it up. Don't swim in the bath out of consideration for others. Please enjoy the onsen comfortably by following the rules. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.